Hello and welcome back to Better Minecraft Hardcore. In today's episode, we are not going to be doing too much with Tinker's Construct. We're just going to spend one minute and then we're heading off to do a bit of adventuring. Or I should say, invading. Because you may remember this village up here, which is right above us, which is cool. But up towards the north here, I believe this is north anyway, we have this pillager village right here and I want to at least, at the very least, try and see if we can take it out. One of the goals I'm hoping to achieve with this is hopefully being able to get some more totems on my hands, but in general I want to see what kind of loot that this place has to offer, plus this place behind it looks cool, so yeah, we're gonna take a crack at that. We also have this very interesting ship here, but I don't think we will be getting to that today, and certainly not this huge floating castle thing that's over here, but uh, yeah, today we'll be focusing on this area. Now before we head on to this adventure, I want to upgrade my sword a little bit. I want to add another layer of sharpness to this, but I also want to add the emerald modifier. So first things first, it has one upgrade slot. I'm going to increase that to three using a book and quill and a zombie head. Then I'm going to go ahead and uh, we need 36 here. So yep, that's good, be good enough. So now we went from sharp to sharper, increasing the attack damage even further. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I could even go to sharpest, which is, which would actually be really cool, but we're going to go ahead and apply the emerald right here, which not only is going to improve the durability, but we're going to give plus 2.5 illager damage, which we really need for this fight. So there we go. In my backpack, I'm going to put my cleaver because I don't need it, and I'm gonna equip my mattock right there. I don't have any feathers, so if we see any chickens on the way, I will be sure to uh, collect some feathers on the way. Now, I could apply looting to the sword as well, which I really don't want to do, but it would require one ability slot, and I still do not know if we can apply more ability slots to our tools. I tried doing some research, but uh, it it, yeah, I didn't I didn't find anything and I guess the reason why I don't want to take that one ability slot is because I don't know if there is anything else that is going to be worth it Like I can go ahead and check all these and see if there's anything interesting that could go on weapons That dual wielding modifier sounds really cool, but again, do I really want that? Well, I can't even craft it yet, but that's a reach modifier or the unbreakable So yeah, I do have a few options. I don't know if looting is the best option for me and oh, yeah I was looking just casually what I could use the netherite for in recipes and I found two very interesting items. One is the emblem of monster slayer, plus 25% damage against undead creatures, plus 10% damage against other aggressive creatures and plus one looting level. And slain mon monsters drop double as much experience. This thing seems really, really cool. And I also found the axe of the executioner, which has a chance to behead slain monsters. Each level of looting applied adds plus 5% to the overall beheading chance. We do have two, I believe, netherite ingots. Yes, we do right there. I kind of want the emblem of the monster slayer. I would need a skeleton skull, but that is pretty easy to get. And I do have bottles of enchanting, so maybe we'll be crafting this today. I don't know. I could actually wait for night time and... Yeah, I think I think I'm going to wait for night time because then I can sleep. Then I might be able to get a skeleton or two. Um, in the meantime, I will go ahead and harvest my wheat field because I will be needing a lot of food for this trip. Fully done harvesting, except I think this is ready. Yep, and this now. Yep, fully done harvesting, and we have over a stack of wheat. Pretty good. Nice 41 bread, that should do the trick. If not, I will equip some extra apples. I might actually go ahead and make some normal golden apples because we do have quite a lot of gold just so I can have them as a safety feature. <laughs> I also have my shield. I think we are slowly getting ready. I now have everything that I need to make the emblem of Monster Slayer. All I need now is the skeleton head, which actually, I might be able to get that from one of the graves, like down here. I might be able to get that actually, now that I think about it. All right, here we are. We visited this, I believe, in the first episode, and yes, perfect. All right, so we have everything we need to make the emblem of, uh, of Monster Slayer. There we go. You look scary. I don't know what that effect is, but I killed you. Chilled, okay. That's not cool. <laughs> uh, okay. no, 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 no. 
Island, but no. We are gonna go ahead and make the emblem of Monster Slayer. There we go. And I should be able to place this uh, blade bracelet bell charm. Right. I can apply that right there. Sweet. So I should now be doing extra damage to undead mobs and hostile mobs in general. That is really cool. Plus one looting level, which is sick. Actually, hold on. I would like to get a bedroll. Yeah, I would like to get a bedroll. So if I have some wool and I don't know if I actually have enough wheat. Well, both of these were, you know what? I'm going to make this one just because. I should be able to place that down and sleep. I think we are ready. I will really quickly make some brand new iron boots because mine are pretty banged up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Take those off and I'm going to leave these behind and we are ready to head off to war. Basically, we're going right up here. So to get this adventure started, we must climb this mountain. Now, by the way, just while we're heading over to the village here, the channel is getting close to 10,000 subscribers. I'm trying to reach it before the summer vacation this year. So if you're brand new and haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe not to miss out on any future uploads. Also, I'm considering doing some streams with some off ca off camera work. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you are subscribed and have notifications enabled. But with that said, we are now past the village. We now need to cross this desert thing. And then we are going to be right at the edge of the pillager village. I am seeing a pillager on the border of this desert. I'm seeing a lot of pillagers actually. Okay, are we ready for this? I think we are ready for this. I say that as I take half a heart of fall damage. Right, let's put down a battle plan here. Right. If I start by taking this tower, maybe I don't know if there's bonus in there. I guess we're going to find out. But first, I need to fight my way over to that tower. I think that would be a good base of operations if we can get to that point and then spread out through the rest of the village. OK, I wish I had a battle horn or something, but here goes. We launch the attack. We could also sneak in, but no, we're going to launch the attack. We haven't done much scouting here, but we're hoping that everything is going to go good. All right. Oh, the sword does some damage with the illegit damage thing. I love it. Okay, those guys are the guys with axes. So primarily we have meleeers and arrow guys here. You are tough, but not tough enough. All right. You have a hex, but ooh, okay. This is going to be. This might be easier than I thought it would. Oh, wait a minute, these guys aren't actually the illagers, they're pillagers. I got that completely messed up. Okay, guy on the right. Okay, if we have illagers here, that could be trouble. Alright, one at a time, focus fire. There will be time for looting later. Alright. Taken down. People are strange. I'll have to look at what that is in a moment. Okay, where is the entrance for this thing? Let's take it down. That's the door. Oh, it leads down. Okay, well, we'll block that off for now. This might not even be a pillager thing, like part of the pillager outpost. We have conquered the first tower of the pillager village. Let's take a look here. It looks like we mainly got shooters, some with armor and some with not. No illagers has been sighted just yet. We're gonna do this ninja style. We're gonna jump on the roof here, take some cover. All right. I don't know if they keep spawning or not when they're dead, but I guess we'll find out. There are a lot on the map though. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, so far so good. Ooh, okay, we have a lot of loot to get to. A lot of loot. All right, but this is just the outskirts of the village. Does look like maybe they keep spawning. Because I see now a lot more over there. So we might have to loot this as we go to not run out of resources. Time to give them a taste of their own medicine. We're gonna take everything we can get our hands on here. The hay bales and everything. Redstone lamp. Pistons. Pretty much everything. I'm just gonna put it in our backpack here. I hear more outside. Okay, let's guy with armor here. How dare you hurt the butterfly? You're evil. You will die. Dead. Oh dear. Okay. Pushing a little bit too much. Pushing a little bit too far. Let's get back a bit. We're getting to the heart of the pillage outpost now. 
Grab the sweet. We will definitely need the food. All of this stuff as well. Oh, I just realized we got potatoes. We can start a potato farm now. That's epic. Okay, two of them here. It is turning night time. We may need to rest soon. Otherwise, the Pilgrims will get some backup. Which will make this invasion a whole lot more difficult. We might have to take cover in the tower for the night. This should do for now. Let's take some well-earned rest. Alright. Looks like they are hiding. Good. I was going to say gathering in forces, but nope. They're not. I will check out this basement thing afterwards because it does look like there's something that leads down but yeah so far the loot is looking pretty decent oh wow this guy is going straight for it big mistake all right we're at the heart of the village now we're not meeting too much resistance at this stage but we have wiped out much of their defenses still need to be careful though if we are not careful one wrong move will set us back Squad here, we gotta take out. Nice. I see this guy over here as well. He will not get away. Let's check out this place. Ooh, this place is looking kinda cool. Okay, let's block that real quick. Jukebox. I'll be sure to take that. We got enchanted books. Very, very good. This invasion is actually going not too bad. Ooh. Maps, enchanted iron gear, not bad at all, and full-on blocks of coal. All right, we continue the attack. Ow. Oh, we got a zombified villager. What have they done to you? You poor thing. They must have been experimenting with the poor guy. Okay, starting to take a little bit of damage here. Maybe back up a tiny bit. Shields up. One at a time. One at a time. All right. Going back. Take a shot. There we go. Oh, he took the corner. He almost got me. Well, he did actually get me. Aha, uh -huh, so this is where these guys sleep. Okay, I think we've been through all the buildings. Now it's just the ones in the outskirts. We need to drive out of the lands. There we go. All right, final ones here. You will be a threat to the village no more. will leave and never oh dear hi hi yep yep i'm leaving i'm i'm leaving yep okay <laughs> yeah i'm not i'm not gonna deal with them final two pillagers remaining whoa i don't know what that was all about he must have been the chief however i think that we are victorious and everything has been looted and acquired that was actually not too bad now we have two mysteries remaining. One is this guy right here. I do not have a weakness splash potion, unfortunately. So I'll have to come back for you. I wonder if you have a name or if you will despawn. I don't think you will despawn. So hang tight. I will return someday with potions for you. But the other mystery is what were the pillagers hiding underground in their fortified tower? Only one way to find out. This could go really good or things could go really bad shield and torches at the ready no idea what we're walking into okay it's one of these so it's not part of the pillager village it is just one of these dungeon towers and as you can see there's a lot of it on the minimap yeah i don't know if we're quite ready to deal with this yet well we we are but i don't know if i want to do that today I think instead we're gonna head back up to the surface, head home, take a look at our loot, and I might have an idea for what to do after that. We will go to one of these dungeons in the future, just not quite today. Now I also saw what looked like a wizard tower over here, which I think would be cool to investigate. Yep, right there. But I would say that that has been a mission success, or I should say invasion success. It is soon time for a nap, but what's this? 
Except boot enchantments. I don't know what that is. Remove affixes. Taking some of them as its own. The item must be common or weaker. Will be destroyed. Okay, I have no idea what any of this is. I will be taking it though. That's a lot of them. Okay, now are we alone? We are. But that is a trapped chest. Okay, we got a bunch of weird looking books. Don't know what any of that is. However, I think it's safe for me to sleep. People are strange. Find an illager campsite. Ah, so that's what that was. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's what it was hiding. Okay. Well, with the trap now removed, we got... Can remove... I don't know what these affixes are. But we do have some normal enchanted books. I will be sure to take those. And I guess I'll take the other books as well. Nice. Okay, that was worth it. Is that trees or does that look like building rooftops? I guess with this outpost cleared, we can afford to take a little bit of a gander over here. Let's go. We can head home afterwards. Are these bone blocks? Ooh, elephants. Oh, these are bone blocks. Are they useful to me is the question. Not so much, and I don't really need bone meal, so... Yeah, kangaroos. We got those scary looking fellas. I'm not gonna bother them. And this place is quite tall and magnificent. Oh, goblin trader. Hello, what can I do for you? Uh, nothing really that I think I fancy. This would be really cool, but of course we have Tinker's tool, so we don't need that. Yeah, nothing really of interest. Okay, I see something huge on the minimap. I don't know what it is, and I'm scared to find out. I'm also seeing some weird blue dragon on the, on the minimap, and I'm seeing something else. Okay, I guess just ignore the minimap for now. We are crossing the river here. Oh, the ambience. Hmm. It was woods. So this entire place is kind of like charred and... Yep, ch charred logs, charred leaves. I love the ambience. It's scary though. Oh, ow. Okay. <laughs> oh, what are you? Hello. How? You, you seem aggressive. Ooh. Okay, while I am terrified of ice and fire, I will definitely take that dragon bone. Yeah, I need to be careful. Ice and fire is in the pack, and the last thing I need is to be hunted by a dragon. Zebras. Lovely. Yeah, this terrain definitely does not seem very friendly whatsoever. I think something that would be cool to explore at a later date. For now, I think it is a good thing to head back home and take a look at all of our loot. Because we got a lot. Oh! Look at what I found. A diamond ore. Nice. Right, yeah, I either need a silk touch thing so that I get the full ores on my pickaxe, or I need to get fortune on this. Ah, home sweet home. Nice. I think for all these books that I'm starting to gather, I would like to get maybe some oak book stuff. Maybe an oak bookcase dresser? Oak giant bookshelf. Yep, that sounds about right. So with that, I should be able to make a giant bookshelf. Yep, looks about right. And I just realized I can't actually get into it. I thought it would have some sort of inventory. Are you kidding me? That's not fair. All right. Here's my solution to that then. Shelf, chest, chest, boom. Problem sorted. Only negative is the flickering of the chest. I don't know why it does that. I'm annoyed at it too. Okay, night time. We can finally sleep in our own bed. All right, time to take a look at all the loot that we got because we... Oh wow. We definitely got a lot, some of which is useful and some of which is less useful. So I guess we will start from the top here. Bottles of enchanting is great. Pilger bag. Okay, I definitely want to open that. Uh, I don't want to just be dropping useless stuff in. So I think I'm going to take this oak chest here three. I'm going to place it over here and all of like the gear, enchanted gear and stuff and weapons I've got to put in there. Whereas the items 
and things like that can then be sorted into things like this. So we've got a tattered tome, many pages of this tome were destroyed or rendered illegible by merciless flow of time, but it may still continue full pieces of ancient studies and lore. So I'm gonna put that in there. Iron ring, when worn as ring, okay, hold on. Uh, oh, so it just adds plus one armor. Right. Well, I can have two rings, so there we go. We have a little bit extra armor. That's cool. Let's see what we get from the pillager bag. We got emerald, uh, leather, arrows, baked potato, ravager horn. Give a bad omen effect, so we can purposefully give ourselves a bad omen effect. <laughs> okay, not sure if I want to do that, but I guess that's cool. Of course, all this armor and tools will go in here. We got carrots and potatoes, so we can start a carrot and potato farm. That is epic. We got a protection 2 book and another protection 2 book, which we can then combine into a protection 3. We also got tinted and knockback 1 and blast protection. Again, I don't know what any of these books does, so please uh, do help me out down below in the comments. Skeleton skulls can go in there. We already have a clock, so not really that useful. The jukebox, that could be over there. And I guess we can play this music here. I don't know what this sounds like. It's called Blizzard. Um, actually, let's put it more central. Hmm. That's not too bad. Actually, not bad at all. Hope it's not copyrighted. <laughs> Potion of haste? Two potions of haste. That's actually really good. I'm yet to have a setup for making potions, so I guess we should do that at some point. Potion brewing area. Got a bunch of iron swords here. And armor. Wow. This thing has mending. That's cool. And that... Okay, I think that's enough. And I think that is all the loot except for this empty map, which I don't know if I want to open or not. I guess why not? Okay, so it's not populated yet. Maybe it is of that pillager outpost that we need to open it. Um, I don't know, but I guess we have it. Now, since we have the potatoes and the carrots, I think it would make sense to go ahead and make the farms for them, which really shouldn't take that long. First, though, I've got to clear out all of this area for seeds or weeds, I should say. Two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Four, so water should be right there. Place that, and then water should be right here. Go into all of this ground. There we go. I'll probably make a proper like farm border around this with like cobblestone and whatnot. But for now, this works. And this is going to be the potato field. And there we go. That's all the potatoes I have. Next, we're going to refill the water buckets. We're gonna, I think, expand the farm in this direction. And I might not put the carrot farm all the way over there, actually, because I really don't think I need that many carrots at this point in time. So I think I'll just keep it to this square. Whereas the wheat and the potatoes, I can eat a lot, but the carrots are not that great of a food source. And I could honestly convert part of the wheat farm to something else. Don't you dare eat my crop. So I think that, for now, is pretty good. Right in time for night time. And I think as the moon is rising, we're going to call this an episode. We did some pretty good progress. We invaded and completely took over this pillage outpost. It is no longer a threat to the world. We now have a carrot farm and a potato farm, which is awesome. We have a bunch of gear, which I haven't even looked at the enchantments for, because honestly, we have Tinker's tools, which I think is going to be better in probably every way, but we did get a compass and a few other things, which is nice. Now, if we want mending on a tool with Tinker's Construct, we would need the Unbreakable modifier, which also requires one ability slot. So if I had used the looting for my sword, I wouldn't be able to apply this, uh, though it does require a shulk two shulker shells, dragon's breath, and netherite ingots, which of course we do not have access to. So probably by the time we do have access to that stuff, I probably want to make another sword anyway. So yeah, I might, I might just put looting on this because it would be nice to have. But guys, like I said, that's going to be it for this episode. Really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you're new, do consider hitting the subscribe button and enabling those notifications. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Hold on, what's that? What? Hold on, I saw something. Okay, that was definitely not Raccoon. Something else was right there. I saw it. Anyways, maybe I'm going crazy. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.